Three years ago, this would have been unimaginable. Recruits from the heart of Pakistan's nationalist Balochistan insurgency training to fight for the army, not against it. It's an image the army wants in Balochistan. Baloch troops in Pakistan's national army. According to commanders, they've recruited three and a half thousand such troops since 2007. This whole idea, the whole exercise, is to integrate the Baluchi youth. The army is also throwing open its doors to journalists to get its message out. A counterinsurgency similar to U.S. tactics in Afghanistan. So if you encourage all over um, province uh, people to join uh, the army, the state uh, system, that is going to diffuse whatever uh, insurgency is left in these parts. At the Army Engineering School, free courses given to hundreds of civilian students. Filling an education gap the government can't. We are established since the uh, inception of Pakistan and we have more expertise and variety here. On this two-day tour of the country's largest province, racked not just by Baluch nationalist insurgency, but increasingly by Taliban violence too, we were shown what the army is doing to lessen tensions. In this area, hard hit by an earthquake two years ago, the army rushed in to help, then stayed, boosting their popularity with a rebuilding program in the absence of government reconstruction. This is a school the army says it's proud to have built. Soldiers gave up a day's pay. It came to more than a million dollars. The army says they've built 25 schools like this, 12 mosques and four health clinics. The army is opening mines too, closed for 23 years by warring tribes because profits went to the central government. Alienation that led to calls for independence. $75 million worth of coal extracted so far, $16 billion worth still underground. It is being spent overwhelmingly over 80 to 90 percent on the area itself, for the people, for the um, children, for their future generation. But it may not be enough. This tribal leader claims he's been attacked 18 times for supporting the army. He blames other tribal chiefs. If you want schools, you get shot, he says. They say we don't need health centers and roads. Back at the army base, Baluch soldiers train with wooden weapons. In a few weeks, they'll be using the real thing. They'll need to. Despite the army's best efforts, the insurgency is far from over. Nick Robertson, CNN, Quetta, Pakistan.